Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to Mr3D. In this video we are going to take a look at amazing new blender add-ons you most likely missed. I will leave the links to all the add-ons mentioned in the description below. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. Before we begin, I wanted to let you guys know about the best of blender education bundle which includes 30 high quality courses by top creators such as CG Cookie, Creative Shrimp, Ducky3D, TrueVFX and more creators for just $30. Yes, for 30 courses. And if you look at the total value of these courses, it is over $973 if bought separately. So it's something you don't want to miss out. And the bundle will be available till 24th of July. So make sure to grab it as quick as possible. Starting with the Scene Boost add-on. The only best add-on for working efficiently. Now the Scene Boost is the most advanced automated proxy creation system for Blender. It can optimize complete scenes with just the press of a button. It analyzes your scene and can create different detail levels for your textures, videos and meshes and switches them automatically depending on the current circumstances. This can significantly reduce your RAM and VRAM usage, allowing you to create bigger scenes that were not possible before due to VRAM or hardware limitations. Isn't it amazing? Scene Boost handles proxy meshes by generating separate meshes, storing them in the proxy path and swapping them automatically rather than just adding a decimate modifier. And if you have any other modifiers, they stay intact. And since the only mesh that I swapped in the background, you can work as usual. Now let's talk about animating rig characters. You can even create proxies for the characters and animate them without viewport lag. And then scene boost transfers the animation data to the original objects. Everything happens automatically. You don't have to do anything. And scene boost comes with a lot more features for those, I have a dedicated video coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Moving on, we have Mod Stack. This is the add-on that lets you save modifier stack with all the settings which you can load anytime without having to recreate it every time you need it. And this really speeds up your workflow while saving you a ton of your precious time. Next, we have Lightning Effects by Motion Dreams. It is by far the most advanced lightning generator ever created. Whether you need a single lightning strike, a chaotic storm, or a stylized energy burst. Lightning FX brings electrifying energy to your scenes, fast and flexibly. You get full control of everything with easy to use sliders and parameters. You can change shape, distortion, glow and animate the lightning exactly how you want, all procedurally. It can adopt to static and animated meshes, dynamically changing the lightning to follow deformations and movements in real time. And it does not end here. You can also add the final cinematic touch with built-in spark and smoke simulations. Fully procedural and dynamic. This asset library also gives you a heads up because there are a lot of templates to start with. So as far as I can see, there is nothing this can't do. Next on the list we have is Easy HDRI by the folks at Alt-Tap Studios, the creators of Easy Fog 2 and other amazing add-ons. So this add-on makes applying HDRI super easy. Just drag and drop HDRI files directly onto your viewport and they will be automatically set in the world shader. Not just that, you can toggle ground projection with just a click. This will add the HDRI to a dome-like mesh which allows you to place your models inside the HDRI itself and get the most accurate shadows and reflections. You also get controls of everything in the add-on panel as well. Up next we have iForge, the ultimate eye generator for Blender. With this add-on you can create from realistic to beautiful anime eyes super easily. As it is all procedural, you can change every single detail with the sliders to get the look you want. A detailed video is coming soon too. Next we have Fast Render, made available by Bad Normals. With Fast Render, you can render 4x faster because standard rendering requires rendering every single frame. With Fast Render, Blender renders every second or fourth frame and the missing ones are generated from the existing ones in less than a second per frame, saving time tremendously. Basically, it's like Nvidia's frame gen but for Blender. And there is more stuff you can do with it. Like you can also use frame gen on already existing frames to increase the frame rate of the videos you have and it supports GPU and CPU. But AMD GPUs are not in the list yet. And that's it for this. Make sure to check out Bad Normal's other amazing add-ons such as Anytree on which I already have a video and Fractal Machine. Next one is for retopology known as Retopoflow. Retopoflow is a comprehensive set of tools that can quickly retopologize or clean meshes on top of high resolution scopes or scans. Version 4 is a complete rewrite 
that adds new features, tightly integrates the tool into the Blender's edit mode, and massively boosts performance. You get powerful tools like contours, poly strokes, and poly strips for building edge loops and clean mesh flow. There's also relax and poly pen for refining surfaces. This version adds even more tools and improvements, and it's currently offered at a discount during the beta phase, so it's a great time to try it out. Next on the list is Physical Rain and Snow Effects add-on, made by Lazy3D, known for his amazing Blender add-ons. It's a cut-down version of Physical Weather Effects for cheap. This add-on lets you easily simulate procedural rain and snow, quick and easy, giving your scenes a realistic touch with minimal setup. And it's fully procedural system that works seamlessly with your scene, with rain droplet effects to make it more dynamic. If you want full weather system, then you can take a look at weather effects. I also recommend you take a look at his other amazing add-ons. There's also a bundle that you can get, which includes all his Blender add-ons at a great discount. Next up, we have Pure Sky Pro. Pure Sky Pro was recently updated to version 7. This major update brings incredible new features and significant improvements to enhance your procedural skies in Blender. Ranging from subtle atmospheres to detailed volumetric clouds and a hyper-realistic moon, Pure Sky Pro is unique in allowing its volumetric clouds to cast shadows in EV Next, making it easy to generate hyper-realistic rays within your clouds. Pure Sky Pro is fully compatible with EV Next and Cycles, guaranteeing significant results regardless of your workflow, and comes with a lot of sky and cloud presets to begin with. So if you want realistic and fast skies with a click and don't want to spend weeks to create from scratch, then Pure Sky Pro is for you. A video on Pure Sky Pro version 7 is coming soon too, so stay tuned for it. Next, we have a new Geometry Node based tear generator, made available by Nodes Interactive. So this tool allows you to create realistic tears with full control over everything. Because it is all based on Geometry Nodes, you can customize it whenever you want and however you want. So if you want realistic cloth tears, then this is something you should take a look at. And if you want simulated tears, then there is Simply Tear add-on by VJ Slav and comes with a lot of different ways to create tears. And lastly, we have end panel subtabs. So if you have a lot of add-ons installed and the end panel looks messy, then this add-on is for you. It allows you to, as it says, create sub panels inside the panel where you can quickly switch or show different add-ons panels, cleaning your end panel and saving you a lot of time switching panels. I highly recommend it if you have a lot of add-ons installed. That's been it. Let me know which one is your favorite add-on. Also, you can check one of my previous video or one newest video right here. And of course, if you like this video or you found it useful, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, it's gonna be amazing for you to hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any of my future uploads. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.